Hey, Justin Baldini here, Director of Marketing for Colt. We've got a really special event kind of happening this week, which is the retirement of Steve Kamek. He's been an engraver in the Colt Custom Shop for 43 years. So we thought we'd take this moment and, um, and just talk to Steve a little bit and get his perspective from 43 years of being a custom shop engraver at Colt. I first learned from a neighbor who owned a jewelry store and I saw the jewel jewelry in the in a jewelry store that was engraved and was interested in that. Maybe I went to um, Bowman Technical School in Lancaster, PA for jewelry engraving. After that, I ended up at Smith & Wesson. I learned to craft more after jewelry engraving because you work in steel and uh, the same, use the same tools, only use a little hammer to push through steel where you can do it in precious metal by hand. That's what I learned at a jewelry school. And so I apprenticed at Smith and then was hired by Colts. And I've been here 43 years now. Jewelry engraving is basically lettering and um, the gun trade is all kinds of precious metal inlays, lettering, scroll work, portraits. It's all, it's a, more of a expanded art that I had to learn. Colt is the best most historical company to work for in this trade. First Colt I engraved was a single action army. Full house serial number and I did a full house theme of cards in um, it was aces and eights as a serial number and I did cards on the on the ball and uh, the name uh, full house on the barrel in gold. This is a canvas that we use to do our artwork, the gun, so. And the single action is probably the best because it is just the shape of it. That it's nice without engraving, the style of it. Over all these years, I've worked for everybody. Some of the most memorable guns that I've engraved for were presidents, Bush, Carter, Trump, I've worked for rock stars for ZZ Top and uh, Ted Nugent, um, golfers like Don Pooley and Brian Henninger, Davis Love. The last Colt I'll engrave at Colts, um, right now I'm working on some scrimshaw and ivory. Um, the last full gun I engraved at Colts would be a uh, trump gun for a gentleman in California. These two guns are for, um, it's a match and pair for his daughters with a patriotic theme. 1776 he wanted, he wanted the uh, Statue of Liberty. I don't know if you can get any on the barrel. I did it in uh, nickel, just almost like the scrimshaw. And the themes on here and gods we trust and others, other patriotic things. There's some on the tube. Land of the free, home of the brave. And the flag over here. What I like most about this trade and being a master engraver is um, it's something that you sign and you and you and you have pride in what you did. Um, there's no shortcut in it. I got an answer to it. My name's on it after. People pay for the fact that I'm the one working for them and it's part of their collection. I'll miss the guys that I talk to every day just like anyone else in any, any business. Um, uh, I'll miss the fact that I have a, um, a project to work on without you know, searching it out on my own. It's just here every day, a new project, finish one, move on to another one. I plan to do a little bit of engraving in my own shop at home, at my leisure, probably in the winter when I'm not playing golf or something. I always tell the engravers to come, that come here that I've worked with or mentored a little bit to try and stay with a traditional engraving that most of the historical cults are of, we follow. You know, we used the old traditional, famous, old time engravers, Gustav Young, Hal Frick. Um, what people expect to see in an old cult. I'm not saying you can't get modern, but 
they don't they don't you don't they won't want to try and reinvent this you know it's what they've already seen over the years all these years and uh that's what i say try stay traditional the legacy i would like to leave is that i did my best and I, i'd like to show people what i do and let them judge it for what it is when i retire from here i'm gonna take a break of uh of not driving 30, 40 minutes to get here. I'm gonna relax with my family and do play some golf. And in the winter, I'll probably go in my office and play with some guns. Um, it's tough to say, my father says I'm gonna be bored, but I'll find something to do. <laughs>